My dear students, welcome to week four of unit two. What I'm doing right now is I'm dividing your uh, pages into main page, study guide, unit one, and unit two, and then you have the current week, week four, and the date of the week. Now you can find that this page is empty, just press on the arrow to get all the lessons. Now, in this week, uh, we're going to concentrate on opinion essay. We have already introduced opinion essay writing uh, on Wednesday. Now, by the end of lesson one, you're going to recognize the Peel model and you're going to draft your introduction. For the word wall, we have the words Peel model, introduction, point, topic, sentence, explanation, evidence, examples, and link. You're going to watch a video about an opinion essay and about Peel, um, and you're going to have an interactive activity that is related to that. Now, you're going to watch a video about how to write an opinion essay introductory paragraph, and then we're going, oh, we're all going to write an introduction or introductory paragraph, and then I'm going to give you instant feedback on that you are going to have further practice about opinion essay writing and for the challenging question i would like you to tell me how many paragraphs uh, should be in an, in an opinion essay you will have a self-assessment and for what to do tomorrow i would like you to draft your first body paragraph and remember to follow the peel model now for lesson two you're going to draft body one and body two Paragraph. Mm -hmm. So, in this uh, day, you're going to um, draft body one and body two paragraphs. For our word wall, it's going to be the same, but we are going to add effective at at the word wall uh, words. We're going to watch a video about how to draft your body paragraph and you will have an interactive activity related to that. You are going to watch another video about body paragraph and about um, how it is written. What is the word count? How many sentences should we put in the body paragraph? You will have another interactive activity, further practice. For the challenging question, I would like you to tell me what is the point of view of an opinion essay and what is the purpose of writing an opinion essay? Now we have learned that an author writes for multiple reasons. In an opinion essay, what is the author? Um, what's the author's purpose, and in what point of view should we write? Um, then you will have a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to start drafting your third body paragraph. In lesson three, you're going to draft body paragraph three and proofread your text. Uh, here we added proofreading. We are going to watch a video about body paragraphs, have another interactive activity, draft our body paragraphs, and then we're going to watch a video about proofreading like a professional. It's very important to know and to learn how to proofread your writing in order to have a better mark in the accuracy uh, strand. You will have an interactive activity, extra practice, and for the challenging question, why is proofreading important to your writing? Self-assessment. And then for what to do tomorrow, you will start drafting your conclusion. For lesson four. Now for lesson four, you're going to draft your conclusion. The word wall is going to have conclusion, wrap up, resolution, reasons, restate, and thesis. You're going to watch a video about how to write an essay conclusion paragraph. You will have an interactive activity. You will watch a video about how to write a conclusion paragraph. You will have another interactive activity. You'll practice more about a, a conclusion paragraph. And for the challenging question, what are the elements of an opinion essay conclusion? a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, you will have an interactive activity to, rise, uh, to revise everything you took before. Now, for lesson five, 
I chose to give you a lesson about common writing errors using commas and transition words to help you ace your formative and summative and to help you revise all the work you have done. And by the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to discuss the uses of the commas, use the appropriate punctuation marks to produce a cohesive paragraph. For the word wall, we have commas, cohesive, transitions, dependent and independent clause. You're going to watch a video about the eight uses of commas and you will have an interactive activity about uh, rewriting a paragraph correctly, applying punctuation marks. You will do this in pairs in the classroom to make sure that you understood how to use your uh, commas correctly and to use punctuation in a correct way. After that, you will have another uh, video about transition words, sentences, and phrases. You will have an interactive activity about that, further explanation about that, a self-assessment. The challenging question is going to be a link where you are going to solve more uh, activities about uh, punctuation and transitions. And now I added here another block, a new block, where you are going to uh, read about transition words and solve uh, the questions below what you read. For what to do next, I would like you to revise your writing, check your punctuation and the addition of transitional words to your writing. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect.